Royal Street Band. My aura bright like the morning star, moving fast like the shooting star. I'm in my own lane, no movie star. If this ain't no act, I can't play your part. My aura bright like the moon and stars. Moving fast like a shooting star. I'm in my own lane, no movie star. Cause this ain't no act, I can't play your part. Doctor's vibrating higher. I got the heat, I'm on fire. The Empress of the Empire. Goddess of desire. Welcome Virgos, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We are in November, baby, and I'm super duper excited. This year has most definitely flown by. Oh my gosh, it has really, really flown by. All right, so Virgos, um, for you guys, it's energy. I'm picking up on the number five. Okay, so you may be seeing the number five, five, five. Um, there could be a lot of things that are changing around you. You could be going through a lot of changes. Keep in mind, guys, that we are currently um, in the middle of retrograde, Mercury retrograde, okay? So we're reviewing things, looking over things. Um, people from the past are returning. It's just a, like a revise, redo. You know, that's kind of where we kind of are right now currently. All right, so let's see. Um, what message do we have for Virgos, okay? <clears throat> this is going to be for sun, moon, and rising. Okay, so if you have Virgos anywhere in your chart, sun, moon, or rising, you can apply this video. Okay. Um, do keep in mind these readings are general, so they won't resonate with every single Virgo, all right? So, however, if it does seem to resonate, make sure that you leave me a comment below. Let me know what's going on. Don't forget to like the video and share with your family and friends, okay? All right, so let's talk about it. Let's get into some things right now, all right? So, Virgo. Let's shuffle five times and get going, all right? One, two, three, four, and the last one, five. All right, bottom of the deck, guys, we have you guys taking a leap of faith okay so there could be a new start a new beginning but there is some type of risk that is you're thinking about taking you want to take but there is a leap of faith okay that you are getting ready to take okay i feel like you're letting go of something okay you're releasing something the bag is heavy the load is really really heavy i feel like you're trying to break free of something okay I feel like there's something that was possibly weighing you down, keeping you bonded, keeping you, you know, something that's a lot of responsibility or something that just was heavy. The load was heavy. I feel like you want to break free from that and start fresh. OK, so let's see what is what for you guys. OK. We got the moon card. All right. And we have the Page of Cups. Most definitely, off the bat, I'm picking up on Pisces' this energy. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces, okay? And then what I said we about the changes here. 555, five, five, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so there could most definitely be some changes, okay? Things are possibly going in your favor, okay? So some changes are being made, okay? Or this is the universe stepping in and conspiring. We got King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, male or female. But most definitely a male. Some of you guys could be dealing with the earth sign like yourself. Okay. Or this could be someone that is all about his coin. Okay. We got the Queen of Swords. Lots of different people here. So there could be a lot of people involved. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy, female energy, feminine energy. 
or you could be deciding to cut something out maybe you feel that something needs to be cut out okay maybe that is the change that you're considering making judgment call okay there's a final decision being made okay a final decision is getting ready to be made coming up all right let's see what's what let's let's hop into it okay i feel like you have a decision that you have that you need to make okay there's lots of options in front of you okay there's lots of different cups here um and you need to make a decision i feel like this is a life-changing decision okay and it's something that you know is going to be life-changing okay there's so many things around you so many possibly could be distractions could be people could be different things okay but there is a, a need to make a decision okay i feel like some of you guys could be watching an earth sign or or an earth sign could be watching you it doesn't have to be an earth sign but i'm definitely picking up on spying energy okay Someone could most definitely be spying on you or you spying on someone else. You're possibly looking to see if someone is financially stable. You're possibly looking um, or someone's watching you to see if you're how your finances are. Okay. But I feel like we're having, um, I feel like some of you guys are feeling regretful about something. Okay. I feel like there's an opportunity that possibly could have been missed. Or there's just a looking back at regrets, okay? Maybe you regret something, changing something, or that something didn't happen in the right time, okay? I feel like you're going to be putting in a lot of effort, a lot of work. You're making the final decision to put in the work, okay? The final decision is I'm going to work for this, okay? I'm looking back at the situation with regrets now, but I'm going to work towards um, things in the future to make things better, okay? I definitely do see you guys making that final judgment call to put the effort and work in. For some of you guys, this is actual work, like a work situation, okay? But I def most definitely see effort being put in, okay? Most definitely. Queen of Wands and the Chariot card. You are pushing ahead. You're pu you're pushing through. You're motivated. You're ready. You got that energy. Your energy is the Queen of Wands. You're ready to take action, okay? And you're moving forward. Chariot card. Things are going to be looking on the up and up for you, okay? I'm definitely sensing forward movement. Okay, somebody around you wants a relationship with you. Okay, we have the lover's card and the two of cups. Somebody most definitely wants to be with you. They're looking at you in a love way, in a I want to be with you. Um, you're the love of my life, true love type of energy. We have the two of cups and the lovers. So somebody most definitely um, wants a relationship with you, wants to be with you, wants to bond with you, wants to connect with you. I'm just getting all this love energy, okay? Could be another earth sign because we have the knight of pentacles here, lots of pentacles here. Knight of pentacles, but this could be um, in your, this is in your hopes and fears section. Okay, so maybe you fear um, things moving slowly, okay? Maybe I feel here with the Knight of Pentacles energy. He does move slowly, but he takes his time to get to his destination because it's well thought out. Okay. It's well thought out. It may take a little while. Maybe you feel like you fear that things aren't going to pick up the way you need it to pick up. But I, I feel like I see you guys putting in the work and I don't feel like there's any need to fear about how slow it comes you just need to put in the work okay and the outcome is the hermit card which is you guys energy okay but this is possibly isolating yourself turning your back towards someone okay and when we have the tower scorpio's energy okay so it's kind of like avoiding disaster turning your back on something disastrous I'm just picking up like avoiding disaster. Okay, so I feel like you guys are turning your back. You're trying to make stay focused here.
Yes, you guys are very focused. You guys are like you guys got your eyes on the prize. Most definitely. Ace of Wands, when you may be doing something, maybe in creative. You may be working on something creative, but this is most definitely forward, straight forward movement. Okay. And with this Queen of Wands, there could be a fire sign involved, but I feel like you guys are just putting the pedal to the metal. Okay. I'm definitely sensing that. Yes, yeah, someone hopes. Someone definitely wants to be with you. Either there is like a healing of a situation. This could be a past lover um, that is wanting to heal this relationship with you. Um, but I'm most definitely sensing that somebody most definitely is like literally in love with you. I feel like you are focused on how slow, how slowly things are going. Um, there could be some news that comes out of the blue. Okay, we got the Eight of Wands. Be prepared. There could be some news coming out of the blue. Okay, why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? I feel like some of you guys um, could be looking at a situation that you possibly in um, and looking back at the situation with regrets. Um, and looking at it in ways that you possibly, I feel like some of you guys are feeling down on yourself, okay? Because we got the nine of pentacles here. Maybe you regret being single or you regret um, having to do something by yourself. Or I feel like you could just be looking at yourself in the situation and kind of putting yourself down. Why is the eight of wands here? King of cups. So you could be, be getting ready to get some type of message possibly from a water sign pisces cancer scorpio or this is just like romance or very sweet um messages getting ready to come in okay possibly from an earth sign i get lots of pentacles here why is the king of cups here pisces cancer scorpio earth sign scorpio's energies here pisces um yeah something about a decision okay something here about um a decision okay someone we got the strength card maybe some of you guys are refraining from making a decision okay um but i'm just getting like out of the blue you get some type of communication um and i'm i'm picking up that it's possibly like good news but i'm figuring i'm thinking that it's something about your next move there's a decision that you have to make you have two different ways that you can go okay you have one road leading one way and another road leading another way so there's a decision that you have to make that's getting ready to come up okay keep that in mind keep that in mind Okay, so let's get into love. Let's see what the love oracle, um, the romance angels have to say. Okay, what messages are there for Virgo? What messages are there for Virgo? What messages are there for Virgo? For the month of November, what messages are there for Virgos? What messages are there for Virgos? What message do you have for my Virgos? For the month of November. All right, so we don't have any jumpers. Well, this one wanted to jump out. Let's see. We have stay optimistic about your love life. Okay, so positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so you need to keep an open mind and stay optimistic. Stay positive in regards to love. Okay, you guys may have a past lover returning back to you with reconciliation. Okay, someone from your past is returning to your love life.
And we have playfulness here, okay? So to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. We got attraction here, okay? You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, okay? So let's see. What other messages are there for Virgos? We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So maybe you're trying to deepen your bond with somebody or you need to take things to the next level or get to know somebody a little bit more or someone is trying to get to know you a little bit more in love. We have worth waiting for. Okay, so divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, so everything that is happening at this moment is happening because... It's supposed to happen. It's supposed to happen just the way that it is happening, okay? And we have this could be the one. We have this could be the one, all right? So you're, you've already met the romantic partner that you seek, okay? Maybe someone, some of you guys have been separated from an individual for a while. So a lot for a lot of you, this is someone from the past, okay? And you've been separated from them for a while, so... There's things that they don't know about you. Maybe you have made some changes. Um, and they could possibly be trying to, you know, find out a little bit more about you, asking you questions because they're trying to get to know you because there possibly was a period of separation. Okay, so let your friends help you. I feel like some, some of you could be getting advice from your friends. Some of you could be feeling like it's worth... Um, it's worth taking a look into or hearing them out. So, so a lot of you guys could be getting advice from your friends or vice versa, okay? And then we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So I feel like for some of you guys, there's going to be a conversation. I feel like this could come out of the blue. This person could tell you that they feel like you're the one or vice versa, okay? Some of you guys need to let go of control issues, okay? Some of you guys are trying to control a situation, um, but the universe is most definitely saying allow the situation to happen naturally, okay? There's a decision that, that is going to be made soon or needs to be made soon, and that kept coming out in your reading, okay? That clearly decide what it is that you want so that it comes to you now. And if it's worth the wait, then go ahead and make the gesture, make the move. But I feel like you need to put, put yourself first and love yourself first um, so others know how to love you, okay? Because you have, you deserve love, okay? So someone that you could be thinking of, um, you feel like this person could be the one, but there's a need to have this heart to heart conversation or it could be vice versa, guys. And you most definitely are a lovable person. So you most definitely deserve someone real and genuine and true. Okay. So that's going to be the messages that I have for Virgo. You guys, this reading was beautiful. I feel like, um, last week I did a reading for you guys, but it never got posted because, Something was going on with my computer. I guess the shadow phase of Mercury retrograde was kind of like, you know, messing with my electronics. So I was unable to post the video, but it was nowhere near this type of energy. So things are most definitely shifting um, for you guys. And it sounds like things are shifting and, and moving in your favor. Okay, so that's very, very good for Virgos. You guys, let me know what's going on in the comment section. Y'all know I love to hear, um, you know, what you guys have to say. And don't forget to like and share as well, okay? If you're new to the channel, click that bell to subscribe. There's so much more to come. And if you want to book your very own personal reading, that information will show up somewhere across the screen, okay? And it'll be in the description box as well. All right, my loves. Until next time, ciao for now.